Evening Prayer on Friday the 31st of July. This is the last recording of Evening Prayer before September. Today we remember Ignatius of Loyola, founder of the Society of Jesus. Born in 1491, the son of a Basque nobleman. Ignatius served as a soldier and was wounded in the siege of Pamplona in 1521. During his convalescence, he read a life of Christ, was converted and lived a life of prayer and penance, during which he wrote the first draft of his spiritual exercises. He gathered six disciples and together they took vows of poverty and chastity and promised to serve the church either by preaching in Palestine or in other ways that the Pope thought fit. By 1540, Ignatius had won papal approval for his embryonic order of the Society of Jesus. For the next 16 years, he directed the work of the Jesuits as it spread around the world, until his sudden death on this day in 1556. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Hear my prayer, O Lord. And in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me, my spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 22 My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And are so far from my salvation, from the words of my distress. O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not answer. And by night also, but I find no rest. Yet you are the Holy One, enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forebears trusted in you. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried out to you and were delivered. They put their trust in you and were not confounded. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, scorned by all and despised by the people. All who see me laugh me to scorn. They curl their lips and wag their heads, saying, He trusted in the Lord, let him deliver him. Let him deliver him if he delights in him. But it is you that took me out of the womb, and laid me safe upon my mother's breast. On you was I cast ever since I was born. You are my God even from my mother's womb. Be not far from me, for trouble is near at hand, and there is none to help. Mighty oxen come around me. Fat bulls of Bashan close me in on every side. They gape upon me with their mouths, as it were a ramping and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, all my bones are out of joint. My heart has become like wax melting in the depths of my body.
My mouth is dried up like a potsherd, my tongue cleaves to my gums. You have laid me in the dust of death. For the hands are all about me, the pack of evildoers close in on me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They stand staring and looking upon me. They divide my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. Be not far from me, O Lord. You are my strength, hasten to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my poor life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth for the horns of the wild oxen, for you have answered me. I will tell of your name to my people. In the midst of the congregation I will praise you. Praise the Lord that fear him. O seed of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, O seed of Israel. For he has not despised nor abhorred the suffering of the poor, neither has he hidden his face from them. But when they cried to him, he heard them. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. I will perform my vows in the presence of those that fear you. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord shall praise him. Their hearts shall live for ever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nation shall bow before him. For the kingdom is the Lord's. And he rules over the nations. How can those who sleep in the earth bow down in worship? or those who go down to the dust kneel before him. He has saved my life for himself. My descendants shall serve him. And this shall be told of the Lord for generations to come. They shall come and make known his salvation to a people yet unborn, declaring that he the Lord has done it. Restless with grief and fear, the abandoned turn to you in every hour of trial. Good Lord, deliver us, O Lord most holy, God most strong, whose wisdom is the cross of Christ. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The Canticle Our hope is not in vain because God's love has been poured into our hearts. God reckons as righteous those who believe, who believe in him who raised Jesus from the dead. For Christ was handed over to death for our sins and raised to life for our justification. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through Christ we have gained access to the grace in which we stand and rejoice in our hope of the glory of God. We even exult in our sufferings, for suffering produces endurance, and endurance brings hope, and our hope is not in vain, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit given to us. God proves his love for us, while we were yet sinners Christ died for us. Since we have been justified by his death, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath? Therefore we exult in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we have now received our reconciliation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our hope is not in vain, because God's love has been poured into our hearts. A reading from James 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance 
and let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given you. But ask in faith, never doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For the doubter, being double-minded and unstable in every way, must not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Let the believer who is lowly boast in being raised up, and the rich in being brought low, because the rich will disappear like a flower of the field, for the sun rises with its scorching heat and withers the field, its flowers fails, and its beauty perishes. It is the same with the rich. In the midst of a busy life, they will wither away. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. The Gospel Canticle you have scattered the proud in their conceit and lifted up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. From generation to generation, he has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You have scattered the proud in their conceit, and lifted up the lowly. Let us pray. We pray for peace, peace across the world in the troubled parts, and peace in our own hearts as none of us know what the future holds. But we know that we can trust you, Lord, that your arms surround us and your love is as near as our nearest breath. May we trust in you and hope for the future, knowing that you always bring good out of things, however difficult they are. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all the businesses in our area, those that have been able to open again and those that are concerned that they cannot meet all the requirements to reopen their premises. We pray for those who are beginning to emerge from their needing to shield themselves as they come into August and are allowed to start to look outside more. May everyone be careful of each other, not selfish and pushing one another about as they sometimes do, but remembering to keep their distance so that all of us may be safe. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves, whatever our needs are at this time. God knows each one of us individually the stage of life we're at, the things that worry us, the people surrounding us that we care about. May all our prayers be heard and may we accept the answers that God gives, which are sometimes not quite those that we expect, but, but what is best for those that we love the most. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer and a prayer of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Teach us, good Lord, to serve thee as thou deservest, 
to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labour and not to ask for any reward, save that of knowing that we do thy will. Amen. And the Collect. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.